is actually a folded crossword puzzle. Now it's a simple one, okay? It's about famous locations around the world. And as you can see, I haven't started it yet here. But look, let's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just fold this back up, put it on a paper clip here. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this in the glass. Nothing else in the glass, just that. And Chris, it's up to you. I want you to keep an eye on this glass, okay? No matter what's happening. Now, let's get back over here. What I've done is I've actually written a lot of the one word answers on here, okay? About the famous places. Golden, I think it's like Golden Gate Bridge. I got Mahal, I think it's like Taj Mahal. I got China, Canyon, uh, the Louvre, Pyramids. Uh, I got a whole bunch of different ones here, okay? So what you ask someone to do is to lift off some. And the cool thing with this trick, guys, is they can cut anywhere they want. So let's say they lift off some cards right about in the middle there, okay? Boom. Then you mark the cut like this. Say right where you cut, we'll mark that just like that. Perfect. Now, Chris, I asked you from the start, I said, keep an eye on the glass. Have you been keeping an eye on the glass the whole time? And yes. you have, nothing suspicious has happened. Good man, let's now watch, watch, watch. Make sure I'm gonna go down in here, watch this. Really, boom like this. For the first time, I'm gonna take the paper clip off and watch. See if it happens in full view. Yes, it's happening. It's happening, this has happened once before, look. And people freak out when they see a little bit of ink, more ink, and in full view, people see that the crossword puzzle has actually solved itself. The whole thing is filled in every, oh, wait a second, except for one. We got one, one here, it's nine across, is Famous Falls, nine across, the only hint we have is Famous Falls, and then of course, it's Famous Falls, and then of course when people, when you lift to the exact spot where someone cut earlier, it is in fact Niagara. Niagara Falls completing our spooky crossword puzzle. You can do this with an ordinary crossword puzzle out of a local newspaper, something like that, but most crossword puzzles in the newspaper, there are 20 or 30 questions. They're too big, too many file cards are going to be required, et cetera, et cetera. So I had this crossword puzzle custom designed for me. Not a big deal, but I made sure that the questions, because people want to look at it afterwards, the questions are simple to answer. There's only 10 or 12 questions. So I had this designed for me, and to save you guys time, at the end of this, I'm going to uh, sort of point up on the screen a place where you can click, and you can download the crossword puzzles that you're going to need for this trick for free. I have the, uh, the blank, a blank version of this, and these are all very simple questions involving famous places around the world. Then what I did is I printed off another one of the blanks and I filled all the answers in except for number nine across, okay? So I filled them all in with a pen, okay? Or, and in this case, it's a Sharpie marker, nice bold contrast. I want the contrast between this and this to be as visually pronounced as possible. I don't wanna use pencil here, right? So I've got these two. I've got a rubber band, I've got a, a large paper clip, a glass, you don't need the glass. Someone can be holding um, your uh, folded crossword puzzle in their hand rather than the glass. But the glass is a great staging prop, I think. Really raises the theatrics of your show, kind of cool. Uh, perfect for if you're uh, you know, working, uh, been perform uh, booked to perform at a gig or something, it's perfect. Then I've got the one word answers written down here. Now, I wrote these in uh, Sharpie here. I kind of lost my set on the way here to the studio because the set I usually use of file cards, I've written it only in thin pen, a pen. Why is that important? Because you don't want the names leaking through the backs. You do not want that because a, because they can see it, and it sort of undercover, it uh, undercuts the final climax, and B, you're gonna be using a force that you really don't want them to be able to see through the backs. Okay, the setup. Have this folded up. Okay, and I've got it, and you'll see the custom design, the PDF I'm gonna provide you guys with is designed so that once you cut it out, okay, and fold it like this with the ink in, then uh, almost no ink on this side, and you fold everything in, you can now see this pretty much on all sides and there's no big flash of ink coming through. Only on this edge, which they wouldn't notice because it's pointing towards you. You don't want, uh, that, that's another advantage of going with my custom design here, it's designed to really work best like this. Then you've got that folded. This is folded up, okay? I've got this on the paper clip to start. I've got the paper clip on it, not all the way down, but a little bit above, sort of like this, okay? Got the rubber band around here. Now, my uh, videographer guy, Chris and I, we cheated a little bit with the camera, and I wanna show you why we did that in just a moment. But my setup's here. I've got this in my pocket here. 
And this is everything I need to start. Okay, now we'll get to, we'll get to the switch in just a second. So for now I start and I say with that key line, I say, I, you're trying to figure out everything I'm trying to do. You're trying to solve the puzzles, aren't you? Well, let's work together to solve a puzzle. So you have a nice inline right there. I introduce this and I say, here's a, a crossword puzzle. I like crossword puzzles. I haven't started as you can see. Show that, show your hands empty. Fold that up, put the clip back on it. Again, not all the way down like this and have somebody either put this on their hand or they could hold it uh, between their fingertips. Sometimes I'll do this and I'll say, let me know if you feel a tingle or if it starts to feel warm. I seriously use that line. It makes, it sort of adds some interest to what I'm doing. But either way, let's use it here. Then I take the rubber band off and I show these. I don't show them to the top card, okay? It's better to just kind of go through like this, show a few, put them back. Now, I'm going to use a force I've already featured on this channel called the crisscross force. And what it is is that you can have someone come over and they basically cut the cards. They can lift off three cards, lift off six cards, whatever they want. They can cut the cards. You show them, you say, I want you to lift off and put them over. That's what you say. So they lift them off and they put them over. Say, and the, here's the key line. Say, I'm going to complete the cut. I'm going to complete, or say, I'm going to mark the cut, I should say. I'm going to turn these and mark the cut, and I do that. By the time we go back to those two cards in that position, they won't remember which one was the top and which one was the bottom. So, Chris, let's go on back down. Let's take a look here. So, our position is here. We've cut the cards, or they've cut the cards. This is going to be my force card. I've got my rubber band here. Now, having taken the focus first from this, then to that, then from this back to that, what I need to do now is somehow get the folded puzzle in my left finger palm. Now, in perform right now, you got me locked off on a video camera, and if you guys watch my hands, even if I just go over to scratch this for a second or adjust my shirt, you're going to think I'm about to get something or load something. In live performance, I can be with people, though, and we can take a break, and I can bring my hands back and slap slip both hands in my pocket sometimes, and I'll even say, so what do you guys, and I'm having eye contact and all this stuff, and people don't notice. It's not a big deal, okay? And so I typically will slip my hands in my pockets, okay, and then bring my hands out like this, and what I've got is I've got the other folded one in finger palm. And I did that. Uh, uh, Chris and I used a, uh, a little bit of a camera thing to give you that experience at the start. Alternatively, what I'll sometimes do is I'll say, okay, spill that out there. And I say, everyone was watching that. And almost as if I'm cleaning up my space, I'll take the rubber band and put it in my pocket. And I'll say, you guys have all watched that to make sure everything's cool. And that's when I put my, the rubber band in my pocket is when I take a moment to get the, uh, the folded one in finger palm and I come out and it's real casual. So in some way you need to just get this. It can be from your back pocket or your jacket pocket with your hands in your pocket. Okay. Now I pick this up and I'm here and I'm going to now reveal to you guys here in this channel, one of my very favorite original switches I've ever created. It's called the full view switch. I love it. I use it for lots of things. This looks like I just take the paper clip off, okay? But the clip doesn't even come off that one. What happens is I come over here, I'm gonna leave the one, and I just, uh, with my right first two fingers and thumb, take hold briefly, just readjust, take hold of the other one, and this natural action of taking the clip up uh, off the folded one, up and off, the natural action, boom, like that. They can even, you can even plan it so that this stays a little bit in view, the top part of this. You come over, you lift it clean up and off. And I lift it up and I immediately go to my pocket with the clip, which makes sense because clearly I'm just going to remove, boom, remove the clip, put it in my pocket and bring all focus back to here. So it seems like this has never left their sight. They were either holding onto it or is in the glass. And when you unfold this sucker and they see, oh my God, spirit ghost writing has appeared, people freak out. They don't even remember this part. They're just thinking, oh wow, that was such a cool trick. How do you do that? And then you notice, I like to pretend that it's sort of, oh, I just noticed, wait a second, there's a space here. There's one missing. Nine across. What is nine across? Famous Falls. Anybody know Famous Falls? And sometimes they do. Some, often they say Niagara Falls. I live in Toronto, Canada, and Niagara Falls is close by. I do that. I come over here, and as dramatically as I can, I just lift this up, and I show right here, boom. To have the link to the PDF files for this custom-designed crossword puzzle instantly sent to your inbox, just click here.